how do you get your starting tune screen to go from this to this? We're going to teach you how to do that right now. The first thing we need to do is that we need to download a plugin for OBS. This will only work with the standard version of OBS. If you have OBS Live, then you're good. But if you're currently using Streamlabs OBS, then unfortunately this plugin will not work. And the link for the plugin is in the description down below. Once you've loaded up OBS, the first thing you need to do is you need to create a new scene. So if we go to our scenes, click on the plus symbol. We're just going to call this one Action Camera Test. And we'll click on OK. And under Sources, we want to click on the plus. We want to click on Video Capture Device. And you want to select your camera that you want to create the blur effect for. For us, it's going to be our action camera, which we've already got listed. If you haven't got it listed, create a new one, select your camera. And we're going to go to our action camera, click on OK. And as you can see, there we are. There is our new scene. Let's just make that a little bit bigger. And now what you want to do from here is you want to create another scene. So if we click on the plus, we'll create a new scene. We'll call this one Action Camera Blur Effect. We will click on OK. And what we want to do from here is we want to go to Sources. Click on the plus. And we want to go to Source Mirror. Click on that. We want to create a new one. We'll call it Action Camera Blur. Press OK. Now we need to select the source. So our source is going to be under Action Camera. We'll click on OK. There is our Action Camera source there. We will click OK on that. We'll just fill the frame. Now from there, you want to right click on the Action Camera under your sources. We want to put a filter on there. We want to go to where it's got effects and filters. Click on the plus. And we have got the blur effect there. Click on blur. We'll just click OK on there. You can rename it if you want to, but we'll keep it as blur. You've got different types of blur that you want to do. The one that we tend to use is the Gaussian blur. And from there, you can just knock up the blur as much as you like. Click on close. And there is your blur effect. And the good thing as well is when you mirror the source, this doesn't affect your action camera or any other camera within your LBS. So if I go to another scene that has got the action camera on there, you can see it hasn't affected that source or that scene at all. We go back to our blurred effect. And once you've created the blur effect, you can add whatever you want into there. So if we go to images, we'll just grab our starting soon text, click on OK. That is how you create a blurred effect starting soon screen if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up if you've got any issues with the blur effect feel free to come and jump into our live stream we live stream on twitch on a wednesday a thursday and a saturday at half past five uk time you're welcome to come and get yourself involved and just have a chat with us